What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And of course today we got the big Season 6 update. There is a good bit of patch notes. Not a lot. Not as much as I was expecting for a, you know, season update. But there's also a good bit of information about the roadmap. So I'm going to link all this information down in the description if you would like to read over any of this for yourself. I'm going to kind of hit the high points. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, let's talk about the six, uh, Season 6 roadmap and content. For launch week, you can expect, of course, a few new weapons, a new sniper rifle, and the ASVAL. I'm not sure if they put the ASVAL in the AR or the sub category. It could probably go either way. You know, it does have a built-in integral suppressor in most other games, so I'm kind of curious to see exactly how this weapon is going to work in Modern Warfare. Also, the map update for Warzone, where you can see the new uh, subway system. Also, a new limited time mode for a Warzone, which is called Armored Royale. Of course, this season we're going to have two new operators, Farah and Nicola. Uh, for multiplayer, we'll have two new maps, also a new gunfight map, a new ground war map, a new multiplayer mode called Kill Streak Confirmed, and a new finishing move. It says kind of later on into the season, uh, towards the end of the month, from October the 20th to November the 3rd, they really haven't talked about the haunting of Verdansk that much, but it's a new limited time mode. Looks like it's going to be something. Of course, kind of tied into Halloween. So I'm kind of interested to see as it gets closer to time what exactly that's going to be. Also, they said, you know, the weekly, new weekly modes and things like that kind of rotating in and out from week to week will be added in. And it says, and more. Of course, they didn't go into detail exactly too, of too much of what's going to come towards the end of uh, the season itself. Today, also be sure if you are on Xbox or PC, I just want everyone to be aware starting October the 1st, uh, anyone on Xbox One or PC will be able to start playing survival mode. That has been a limited time thing, of course, here on PS4 for the last year, just about. Uh, when it comes to what kind of changed with the update, uh, when it comes to weapons, there was no real big changes for any weapon except the Origin 12. They reduced the very close damage in Warzone, but also for shotguns in general, they increased the damage of slugs in Warzone. Uh, they fixed a few issues with some visual bugs with the view model when you're hip firing your certain web or certain weapons also they fixed an issue where your left hand was not showing uh, to be gripping properly on the 23 inch romanian barrel on the ak they also fixed an issue where the muzzle selection screen for the fin lmg was hard to view in the gunsmith uh, kind of section or, or the gunsmith menu also they fixed uh, for two are fixed for two issues where players watch and or heartbeat sensor would not be entirely visible when using the XRK chainsaw attachment on the fin LMG. Also a fix for an issue where it's possible uh, or was possible to put a Molotov or a grenade onto a planted bomb causing it to kill the defusing player. Also a fix for an issue where some players were able to get unlimited stopping power rounds. Uh, one thing they did change a good bit today was C4. They put a slight delay when performing a quick detonation. A beep will now play when quick detonation is triggered. Also, they reduced the throw initial velocity by 30%. I'm sure most of you have realized that C4 has gotten pretty crazy as of late. Uh, there's been a lot of people just throwing C4 around, pretty much treating it like grenades, which is fine, but at, at the same time, sometimes it's not that we're throwing it way too far, and it was uh, you were able to detonated very very quickly so they have worked on that we'll kind of have to wait and see exactly how c4 is working now in game of course they also talked about the playlist update for today when it comes to multiplayer we're going to have ground war gunfight blueprint customs face off kill streak confirmed of course season six mosh pit which is going to have the new season six maps broadcast in it uh tank factory uh in a mosh pit game kind of mode so you're going to get to see those two uh, you know, those couple new maps that we got for multiplayer in this mosh pit mode. Also for Warzone, you're going to have BR quads, trios, duos, solos, plunder trios, and of course the new limited time mode, armored royale quads. And when it comes to any other kind of changes for the day or for the uh, update today, uh, of course the normal improvement for stability and performance on PC. But besides that, guys, like I said, it wasn't a massive update patch note wise. I was expecting a little bit more. Usually we get a pretty big, uh, dose of patch notes when it comes to their updates throughout you know the season but today was pretty much just small bug fixes things like that uh, and of course you know all the roadmap info and stuff that came out yesterday they kind of linked that again kind of into their patch notes so anyway guys leave me a comment let me know what you think about this update let me know if you're excited about season six i know a lot of people are very interested in the haunting of verdansk to see exactly how that's going to work out 
Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. GT Racing, the community Discord, and of course my Twitter. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.